Raising Stuart full time, no Liza, no anyone. It's pretty intense. <laughs> Tell me about it. Is that what you want? I'm not sure. Um, I guess that's the whole point of this, though, you know? To figure out how I really feel. This is big, you know, for both of us. Us? I mean, <laughs> kids are expensive, you know? Clothes, diapers, money for rent. I'm not hitting Liza up for cash. That's not what I meant. Then what? I'm just saying three people cost more than two. Simple math. Where are you going? For a walk. <laughs> right now? Yeah. You know what? Come on. I'll call you if I figure anything out. Oh, sorry, sorry, That's sorry. Not a problem. Not a problem. So, how are you two holding up? Hell, I'll be fine as soon as I get these blasted things off of me. He means fine, thanks. How are you? Of course he does. Um, the notes you wanted on precedence? Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. Listen, um, thank you so much for working with me on this. My life is, um, it's a little insane at, at best, so I, I just, I really appreciate all the help I can get. Of course. I didn't think you'd be here. Back at you. I had to come. For Dad. You probably think I've lost it, right? I think I saved you a seat. All rise. This district court of Pine Valley is now in session. The Honorable Judge Nelson T. Whitman presiding. This case is of the Commonwealth versus Adam Chandler and the Commonwealth versus Scott Chandler. Please be seated. What are you doing in here? Liza filled me in on your plan to plead guilty. The whole sacrifice yourself thing it was a bit of a surprise to me because it's not really your style, you know? Can I ask you something? Do you really think I should be punished for what I've done? Is that a trick no, question? No, I mean because... it. I, I mean it, Ryan. Forget the past. Forget how you feel about me. Try to look at the situation objectively. Okay. What am I really guilty of? Are you serious what? right now? Am, am I guilty of feeling compassion for a victim in a, in a tragic accident? You covered up a murder, Am I guilty eh? of falling in love and trying to protect that love the best way I knew how? The best way involved throwing our seven-year-old daughter under the bus, hey, okay? Hey, I love Emma. I would do anything for Emma. Okay, good. Prove it. Right now. Now's your chance. Let her go. Bad news giving you a key to my house. Who cares? It's not gonna matter by tomorrow. No, it's not. What do you wanna do? You wanna lock me in my house? You wanna, you wanna put me to bed without my supper? No. I trust you know what you're doing. Thank you. Same way I did when I went to see Amanda. You went to see Amanda? Oh, yeah. You didn't tell her that I was leaving, did you? Sure I did. David, too? Trevor stays right here. He's my son. Right, and the fact that I'm his mother... ...is the only reason you're not in jail right now. You and your beloved Jake. So instead of throwing empty threats in my face, maybe you should be getting on your knees and thanking me. I will never thank you for keeping me prisoner. Well, I'm sorry you see it that way. It's the only way to see it, Dave. I don't belong here. This is not my home. You are not my family. And I am done letting you play make-believe. I'll be back for our things. You have no rights to this child. Then take me to court. Six months. Are you on crack? I'm not going to be here six more minutes, let alone six months. No, I mean me. I have six months. Oh, my God, what are you talking about? That's how long I have left to live. <laughs> 